Hey, what's up, what's up? Joe Vegas back with another review. Robert Plant. Yes, yes, yes. Um, technically, it's Robert Plant and Alison Krauss, but uh, I was not there for Alison Krauss. I, I was there for Robert Plant. Uh, arguably one of the greatest rock, if not the greatest rock and roll front men of all time, of arguably, if not the greatest rock and roll band of all time, Led Zeppelin. Um, if you don't know who Robert Plant is, just turn this off. You're, you're not, you're not going to like this review. Um, I've seen him before. I was lucky enough. Last time I saw him, he was touring. It's probably like, God, maybe 10 years. No, maybe eight, seven, eight years ago. They did a bunch of Zeppelin songs. It was great. They played at a Brooklyn Bowl. It's a fucking bowling alley. I saw Robert Plant in a bowling alley. That story's like my dad or grandfather tell me. Um, but that was a great show. When I saw tickets go on sale, I really didn't think. I just bought. I just I, Show me where the best seats are. I don't care what the price was. Um, so I bought great seats. Um, I did pay some money for them. They were, both tickets with fees and everything came out to about 600 bucks. So it was a lot, but, you know, fuck it. It's, it, it did I mention it's Robert Plant? It's Robert Plant. Um, but what did happen is a few weeks after I just bought the tickets, I didn't even think to look at the date. He was playing on a Wednesday night here in Vegas, which I was not happy about. And I took a look at the set list. I knew a little bit about Alison Krauss. She's a very famous bluegrass country singer. I think more bluegrass. Very respected. I think she's won like a million fucking Grammys and just top, top of the uh, bluegrass uh, food chain, I think. Um, interesting combination. I know they put out an album, I believe, back in the day. And he seems to really enjoy playing with her. And after tonight, I know why. Um but uh, I looked at the set list and I was pretty disappointed. There were only like two or three Zeppelin songs. But in the end, I, I even had second thoughts about maybe I didn't want to go. Maybe I'll sell the tickets. And But fuck it, man. It's Robert Plant. I, I don't care. I mean, I'm look at my life. A few weeks ago, I saw Ringo Starr. And now I'm seeing Robert Plant within two or three weeks. God damn, man. You know, the, 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 there's time clocks on all these guys. So my attitude, especially with guys of this magnitude, Robert Plant is... It's beyond Mount Rushmore. This is now you're talking godlike uh, figure and godlike status. So just go see these guys, man. Does, don't fuck the money. Life is short. Go pay the money to see these guys. Anyway, so um, went to see him. Let's see. Let me pull out the set list. Um, it was a great show. It really was. <sighs> there's a reason he's Robert Plant. Just like Ringo reminded me why he's Ringo Starr. There's some people that you just see and you're like, oh yeah, this is why I paid two, three hundred bucks a ticket. This is why, you know, it's been 50 years since you started doing this and you're still packing in places. There is something very special about these guys. It's bigger than talent. It's it's what they call it, the X Factor. It's more... It's the way they move. It's the way they sing. It's the music they write. They touch you. They get into your soul. It's like a it's like a demon almost. They get inside of you and they don't ever leave for your entire life. You hear those the, the first time you hear Zeppelin. And he did it a cut. They were like six or seven times in the show tonight where he pulled off that note. I'm not even gonna try to sing it, but it's that ooh, you know, he's got this tone that when he gets there. The whole crowd just breaks into goosebumps at the same time. He's got this, ooh, there's there's this, like, it's so signature in his voice. You know, the rest of it, he sounds great. He looked amazing. I, I don't fucking get these guys, man. They, it's not fair. They did a whole life of drugs, alcohol, partying, sex, you name it. Everything that's supposed to kill you by the time you're 40. And this guy is 75 years old, full head of hair, looks great. I don't get it. I don't. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I, th- I do. I do the partying. I party plenty, but I'm still bald. I'm still. I don't. I don't. I don't get it. Some of these guys were just kissed by God. I guess they got it all. They got the looks. They got the talent. They got it all. So um, he looks fantastic. It's God. It, like 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 fantastic. I don't know how else to describe it. You could see some of the pictures. How how he looks like magical. He just does. Um, but he sounded. And that's more important to me than the looks. Obviously, he sounded perfect. He sounded like Robert Plant. He sounded like he wanted to. I'm going to run through the set list. Uh, Rich Woman, Quattro, Fortune Teller, The Prince of Love, uh, Rock and Roll, Zeppelin. So 
that was the first, that was the Zeppelin song. It was the first Zeppelin song they played. I wasn't sure what to expect. So the last time I saw him when he played Zeppelin, it was Zeppelin. It was dirty, fucking crunchy rock and roll, and it was oh, it was bluesy and dark. oh, it's great. So this time they they started with the violins, and I'm like, okay, this is going to be different. So being with Allison, there's definitely a country twang in all the music, and. It worked. I didn't at, at first. I was like, "Oh shit! I don't know if this is gonna work." It works. You know why? Because the band is great. Allison's great, and he's. Did I mention he's fucking Robert Plant? He's so good. So it's a it's a it's a different version of what you'd expect to hear, but it's actually weird. It started more country, and I felt it got harder and harder. And by the end, it was almost fully rock and roll. But it had a little twang to it. But it it worked, and it's just. You know, you just you're there watching Robert Plant sing a Led Zeppelin song. It doesn't get better than that. Then he did "Please Read the Letter," also a great song, really ballad. His voice really shined. Like a lot of these older bands, when I see them, I feel like it takes three or four songs for them to warm up, get into it, loosen their voice. From the first note, he was just fucking perfect. Oh God, it was good. Uh, "High and Lonesome." Then he did "Last Kind Words Blues." Then You Led Me to the Wrong, which was a really cool song. Trouble with My Lover. In the Mood, Matty Groves. Can't Let Go. The Battle of Evermore. And then I think this, I mean, not think. I know this was the highlight of the show. So they did When the Levee Breaks. But it was like a probably a nine-minute, I mean, I don't know what the original song is. The original song is long, too. But it was a pretty long uh, version with the jam. And... Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say. It sounded exactly how you wanted it to sound. It just sounded awesome, and it sounded perfect. And let's see how long the song is. When the levee breaks. Let's see. I should know this. Length. Sorry. I'm Googling. That's it. It's only 3 minutes, 11 seconds. All right. I guess it is. But with the jam, which I think most of the time they play with the jam, it uh, it stretches out. So there was a good... Instrumental started with, with violins and then it's, uh, just it's everything you would you would expect it to be everything you think it's going to sound like it was better than that it's it's an outer body experience that's the best way to describe it you're just staring at the guy and you're just like what what the fuck dude how are you so good all these years later and the band was good and she was good something happened also at the end of that I don't know what happened maybe we'll see it on the news. Um, Allison leaned over to him towards the end in that kind of instrumental section and whispered something in his ear. And then she left the stage and she did not come back the rest of the show. So I don't know if she made diarrhea in her pants. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but something definitely happened where she left and did not come back. Um, but he finished that. It was awesome. Then he did. Uh, let's see. Sorry. I lost the set list looking for the song. So he did. Uh, when the levee breaks and then normally he does another one or two songs and then they close out with gone 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 uh, he actually walked he, he said goodnight like it was an encore I think he was trying to figure out what was going on with her he came back on stage and he did searching for my love which they never do according to the set list that I've seen they always play a couple more songs and then gone 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 so he kind of called an audible there would have been nice if he did a Zeppelin like a real Zeppelin song or one of the bigger Zeppelin songs but Man, I was so happy by the end of the show. I, uh, there's not much to say without me sounding like I'm fangirling out. But I was fangirling out. It's Robert Plant. And you get to see him. And I got to see him live. Again, second, third time in my life. Second time in my life. Um, it's an honor to just hear him sing. And it's so great that he still sounds great. And it's so great that he still looks great. You know, he's not one of these old timers that are just milking a crowd. Not at all. Now, it's the opposite of that. If he wanted to do that, he would go out and just do Zeppelin songs. He's he's a real musician. You could see he loves playing with her, and he loves playing these songs, and he loves playing with the band, and it, it resonates in his voice, and it resonates in everything. So on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give it a 9, 8 out of 10. That's, that's as good as it gets, man. Even as a Zeppelin fan, without him playing a bunch of Zeppelin hits, you will be very happy. I was very happy. Um, I hope Allison's okay. I didn't... Uh, I really don't know what happened to her. I was joking about the diarrhea, but maybe she did. We all get diarrhea sometimes. Um, anyway, 
Uh, thanks for listening. If you were there, have any comments, please leave them. If you've seen the show, leave some comments, subscribe, and I'll see you at the next show. Thanks. Bye-bye.